Hi, welcome back. Now, in the uh, the elevator controller uh, project, I would expect uh, you students to create using the uh, lab view uh, using the project explorer, and you create a series of folders here, la. Okay, so for example, I created a folder called the uh, FS uh, FSM uh, Finite State Machine Two Level uh, Elevator. I also created the uh, controller file and also the main program uh, as shown over here. But without further ado, I would like to uh, show you the front panel of this project, uh, this program. Eh. Now to begin, right? let's take a look and understand a bit more on how this program will work. Okay, so uh, as I already explained earlier, this is an elevator controller simulator right? for a two-level uh, elevator system to transport uh, catering food. Uh for a local nursing home project. So you have a control, you have typically a stop button and a start button, okay, to initiate the start of a program. And of course, you can stop the program at any time or terminate. You have this uh, call button here where you will call the lift to go to either level, first level or the uh, ground level. Now also there is a provision for a maintenance mode uh, so that you can have a maintenance button here that can be pressed. Now also uh, on the, the other side in the middle here, you have the elevator status where you will indicate to you the difference, the, the status of the elevator as well as the program of status uh, whereby the LED will be continuously be flashing. Eh. All right, and of course you have the level indicator here uh, indicating whether is it first level or ground level. And there's also a UV decontamination LED which will light up when decontamination takes place. And also on this side here, you have the set target time, uh, whereby you can set how many seconds you want the decontamination to take to, to occur. And this uh, elapsed time will show you the running time uh, for the timer. All right. So without further ado, let's click on the run button for this program. Uh, okay. So to begin, right, uh, you can see that the elevator starts in the uh, idle state uh, so call so and also you will see that the uh, elevator will be flashing this yellow light uh, uh, elevator led will be continuously flashing i think looking at it it's probably look flashing at about between two to three second interval uh, continuously now at this point in time when the elevator is in the idle state uh, you can you can do anything on the front panel control here the call button nothing will happen eh. Even you click the maintenance, nothing is going to happen as I'm trying to click here to show you. Alright, because the program cannot start until we click the start button. Eh. Okay, and of course at this time the program can terminate also. Lah. So let me demonstrate to you. If I click the stop button, the program just exit. Eh. You can see there's an exit state here. Okay, so let's rerun again. So just to note that at any this point in time in the idle state, your program the has no effect uh, the button calling or the maintenance will have no effect now let's quickly click on the start button and observe what happens uh. now when you click the start button the elevator should proceed to the next state which is called the uv decontamination mode uh, or state whereby the led later on you will see that the uv decontamination led will light up blue uh, and it will be running for a period of uh, time for eight seconds uh, to decontaminate the carriage uh. Okay, so let's go click on this. Now, at the same time, when this LED lights up blue, the program also requires these two level LED to light up. Right, just now you saw the two green LEDs that like lit up, right? Which will light up showing the these two indicator light up and it's under at the decontamination process. Uh. So you earlier observed that the process start lasted for eight seconds only. And now the program on a going to the next state will proceed to the, the, the elevator will be at the ground level state, eh, default. Eh. So now at this point in time, I can click on the first level. Now you notice that the first level indicator uh, LED lighted up as well as the status eh, of this uh, ele elevator is indicating first level. Now if I can switch it down, it will go down to the ground level. So I can switch it up to go back to the first level as well. Notice that the elevator LED will be continuously blinking. Eh? Okay, so if I put it down to ground level, okay, the call button will, will indicate that the lift is at the ground level. Eh? Now I have this maintenance button here. So what does it do? Eh? So when I click on the maintenance button, right, both of these level LED will be switched off. Eh? 
and it will indicate the status here. So if I click maintenance, you can see that the the elevator goes into maintenance mode now, and there will be no indication on the first level or the ground level has shown over here. Alright, so nothing happens here. So at this point in time, even though you click the buttons here, right, on the call button, nothing will happen. Eh? Okay, so then if I release the maintenance mode, eh, the program then goes back to the ground level and the, pro the program will be, the elevator will behave as per normal. Eh? Okay, as you can see over here. Alright. So I can then click again at the maintenance level. If I release, it will go back to the last state, uh, which is the first level. Okay, as you can see over here. Okay, then uh, now uh, I also can stop this program. Uh. Okay, I will stop this program to to terminate this program. Okay, so now you can see that uh, the program flows. Uh, the functionality of this uh, program is has, was described and demonstrated to you. Now your task is to create a lab view project using the front panel so you must have all these uh, different uh, controls and indicators as specified by your client here and your pro program should behave exactly as what I was shown here now please try to build your program using the uh, finite state machine uh, using a simple state machine will be able to allow you to design this project this controller simulator program now please consider the different states that you would require uh, such as uh, either state you have the UV decontamination state right you have the first level ground level you have the uh, maintenance state and also an exit state uh, when necessary all right so uh, good luck for your uh, mini project design okay I will stop my recording here thanks for watching